So, I thought I will do a follow-up on the 4-chord MIDI introduction video and have a little show-and-tell on the subject of Floyd Synth. Uh, if you remember, it was what I was using to, to actually play music with the uh, piano here. Well, back then it was still the credit card size, but yeah, it's a piano now. That's cool, huh? Um, anyway, let's just... Check what we got here. Uh, Fluid Synth is a is a MIDI synthesizer tool program. Uh, we can we can actually give MIDI files for it to play, but nah, we're gonna we're gonna play live tonight. And anyway, a couple of options and sound fonts. Sound fonts is basically all the all the um, uh, uh, MIDI instruments packed in a sound font file. Yeah. Um, usually, Fluid Synth comes with or as an extra package to, to, to install them, so gonna check your, your package management in your distribution. Uh, yeah, options. We are interested in audio driver. And then the... where are you? MIDI driver. And let some gain, because default is a bit low. And also started as a server, so we can actually connect them, the keyboard to it. And here once again, the options and then the sound fun files. So in practice, this all means we will run fluidsynth dash a alsa dash m alsa sequencer thick the gain uh, server and user share sounds might be different if you use a different distribution but that will basically do it before that let's plug this in so not that it makes any difference because well here we go fluid synth is running but nothing will happen and that is because uh, let's put this in the background and we need another thing called a connect it is part of the Alsa tools package. To yeah, well, it's an Alsa sequencer connection manager, so it will connect um, inputs to outputs. In this case, here we have the inputs. We care about four chord MIDI and the outputs. There, it's fluid synth we're interested in. And what we will do here is we run a connect with the 20.0, so 20 and 0, and the same for the output. Go back into foreground, and we already have a beginning. Yes, there we go. Um, Fluidsynth here is with a command line interface and it comes with help. Help all shows everything everything you can do with it, which is actually quite a lot. Uh, considering that I'm doing here just a simple example of how to how to get music out of this 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 magical device here. Um, meaning I'm ignoring most of these commands and options we have here and will only go into changing the instrument because, well, it's great but, but sometimes we want, you might want something else than that so this is the command we will need for that um, the channels, we have different channels we can see them with the command channels but channel 0 is all we will need and take care of here. So, how do we change them? How do we change the instrument, I mean? Um, first, let's see what fonts we have. Well, as we gave it as parameter when we started it, this is the one with ID1. So, the instruments of ID1 consists of all these. And if we are want to change them, this is the number we are interested in to set it. Meaning, let's go back to the help, it was proc, so that is the command, chan, channel 0, and num is the instrument. So, 
Um, let's go here for, let's take the nylon string guitar, that is a 24, meaning we will write PROC 024. And now... That's right. And, well, yeah, let's, let's go through a few instruments here. Um, cello. Cello 42. And cello, let's 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 give it a minor start here. But let's not forget our trumpet. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that is that is the very simplest way to, to create music out of out of the four chord MIDI piano. Um, if you want to uh, record music with it and other instruments and all well then you you, you definitely want to start looking into a DAW, uh, DAW as in digital audio workstation and um, well for Linux you really want to look into Ardour it's 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 great yeah yeah um, but for now fluid synth does a lot yeah Cheers.